It's our 10th year next year. It's wonderful to see some of the writers that we supported in previous years starting to get those book deals, starting to get themselves published, starting to really, really um, establish themselves within the industry. The awards has a particular importance and a particular role to play in advancing diversity and inclusion within literature because what it's really about is that every book should be a mirror. But most of us open books and we don't see anyone. And the only way we can find ourselves is to write ourselves and to write these diverse narratives from underrepresented communities. Everyone who wants to tell the story has got a story to tell and they should be given the chance to do that. And the thing with Creative Futures Writers Award is that they do that. I think it's really important to publishing on so many different levels. It gives me the confidence to continue writing in a time where I felt like I had to stop because I didn't have that much. For me, I suppose it's validation that actually what I want to say in my poems is important. It puts my work into an anthology, a really beautifully produced anthology, and really shows the kind of diversity of poetry being written by, you know, underrepresented writers. I think winning this award has really helped me feel like a writer and hopefully a future author as well. You can really underestimate how much uh, it helps having ex external bodies sort of validate the way you write. The story that I hadn't shared with anyone until this point, to then have someone come back and pick it as one of the winners feels like such a massive confidence boost. You know, you get a mentorship, you get a course at the Faber Academy, things like that, and being part of a writing community. It offers the potential for writers who come from outside the traditional literary landscape to get a foot into the business and to learn more about the business, which is absolutely vital in terms of flourishing literature in the UK. When you submit to a competition, you give yourself an end goal and a deadline, and who knows, you might just like win an award and that award might lead to getting an agent, getting published. The more you submit, the more feedback you get, or the more you sort of refine the pieces you get. Apply to those organisations that afford you the opportunity to do the writing that you want to do. Just keep on going, writing about what you're passionate about, and just have faith in yourself. And it wasn't until I started just looking inside and trying it out, just write and without any limits and see what happens. It's the quirky things that other people will say, oh, I've never actually seen that. Maybe they'll find themselves through what you've written. One of our real main ambitions for this programme is to see more of the writers that we support being published, having their work heard and to actually make an impact on that diversity within the uh, publishing industry and we're starting to see that and that's very exciting. I find it challenging to write poetry that I'm confident in and confident enough to share with people, let alone a competition such as this. So I really do have to thank the Creative Future Writers Award. Yeah, I just think the, for the underrepresented writers and like what Creative Future are doing, I just think it's so important to like create that diverse and rich and exciting kind of voices to get them out there. So thanks very much to Creative Future.